Well, here in Southern California, greetings everybody and good afternoon here halfway through the work week. We've got a lot of cloud cover out there as we are expecting to see much more cloud cover rolling through Southern California as we take this live look into Huntington Beach and look at the effects of the beginnings of the storm system that's making its move on our state. Up in Northern California, we're seeing rainfall, but here once again, we're looking at a lot of cloud cover and we're starting to see the winds beginning to move through the coastal sections as well. You saw those palm trees in Huntington Beach moving back and forth. So for the time being, we're staying dry here in Southern California, but there it is. There is the front into the Pacific Northwest, Northern California, Mount Shasta, Eureka. They're picking up rainfall, snowfall. And speaking of snow, our Sierra range as we make our way through Thursday, Friday into Saturday. Well, we're going to see snow. We've got winter storm warning from much of the Sierra range from Bishop all the way to Mammoth winter weather advisories a little further south as we head through to Hatchapi Lake Isabella along the 395 we're going to see some difficult driving conditions not only snowfall but also limited visibility so if you're headed up to there or if you have friends and family coming to Southern California along the 395 tell them to be careful well you just saw some cool temperatures today 50s low 60s and as we look at the 24 hour temperature change yes indeed the cooling trend is continuing and there it is, the big trough of low pressure. The associated cold front will continue to make its move in a southeasterly direction. And as that happens, more cloud cover on the horizon as we make our way through the night tonight. And by early tomorrow morning, there's your time stamp at the upper right hand side of your screen. 1, 2 a.m. We start to see drizzle, maybe a light shower from the coast all the way to the inland communities throughout the morning periods. And again, a chance for some light showers as we await the bulk of the energy, the main portion portion of the front, which really, as you can see, won't come through Southern California until very early Friday morning. And that's when much of us, most of us will be asleep uh, safe in bed. And then as we see the sun begin to rise, a lot of that energy starts to make its move towards Orange County, the Inland Empire. But it's not going to be very strong once that does occur. And then we've got another wave of energy that will make its way through Southern California through the weekend. Temperatures, of course, tomorrow will be cool to chilly throughout much of the region. We'll not only see a bit of a rainfall opportunity, but they'll see some sunspots poking in and out as once again, this front is not going to be extremely strong and it will not hold together once it makes its way through Point Conception, but it will give us rain as we make our way through tomorrow morning. We'll take a little bit of a break in through Thursday afternoon and then once again, as I showed you in the future cast, most of the rainfall will occur very late Thursday night into very early Friday morning before the sun starts to rise. We'll see the rains continuing through Friday morning. Then we'll take a break. We'll see more shower chances as we head into Saturday night and then into Sunday morning by Sunday afternoon and evening. Things will begin to settle down as we anticipate dry conditions for the beginning middle of next week as we look at the seven day here throughout the San Fernando Valley and the Inland Empire. Also looking forward to rainfall. We'll see 53 degrees tomorrow, 59 as we head into Friday. Temperatures continue to stay in the 50s and 60s through the weekend with shower chances, a lot of instability really off and on. Hard to really pinpoint just how much rainfall through the weekend that we will see. But nonetheless, there will be shower chances coming in and out of Southern California throughout both your Saturday and Sunday, and that includes the Orange County communities. And once again, by the time we head towards Monday, Tuesday of next week, we'll start to dry out, but you're still going to need to keep those jackets and sweatshirts handy. Glenn Lou and I are going to take a quick break. We will be back and meet you on the other side.